I got a really good recipe today. It's going to be wasabi beef jerky. If you like wasabi and something hot, this is going to be a simple recipe to make. It's like I said, small batch beef jerky, one batch at a time. That's what we're doing here today. So in just about every time I make jerky, I use stir fry meat from Walmart because it's already sliced up, perfect, ready to go. This is 1.3 pounds right here. This recipe is so simple, it's gonna call for just one quarter of a cup of soy sauce. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. One teaspoon of black pepper. Two cloves of garlic, which is gonna be two teaspoons of minced garlic. There we go. This is two tablespoons of wasabi paste. Looks kind of nasty, don't it? Looks like something you feed your baby there. We're going to do two tablespoons of honey. One, two. We don't have a whole lot of marinade here, but you don't really need a whole lot of marinade. When you use the vacuum marinade tumbler like I'm fixing to use. That's going to open. No. Woo. Boy, I almost dropped that. Spilled it everywhere. Heading over to get my gloves on. Boy, we about made a mess, Van Elliker. Van I'm going to take the stir fry and we're going to pull it apart one piece at a time so that nothing is stuck together when we make this. One thing I like about this stir fry meat is that you can have beef jerky within two to two and a half hours and you can't go wrong with that. What I like about if you don't have a vacuum marinade tumbler you don't have to use one. You can put this in a Ziploc bag mix everything up real good in a Ziploc bag put it in the refrigerator for 12 hours 24 hours whatever you want to do. It's got brown sugar in there so I wouldn't go no much more than 24 hours. We're going to pour this in here. Now what I'm going to do to make sure I get everything out of this since it is such a thick marinade. So I'm gonna put me just a little bit of soy sauce in here. I'm gonna just stir it up. Try to get as much as I can out of this bottle. I'm gonna pull a vacuum on this marinade tumbler. All right, the marinade tumbler is pulled a vacuum. We'll give it a little initial shake. Are you talking? And let it go for 15 minutes. Alright, we got the jerky going. Uh, today we're using the Nesco FD80. If you don't have a dehydrated, oh my gosh, this smells like it smells like wasabi. Matt's here. Matt, what does it smell like? Wasabi. <laughs> They're dead. Hey y'all. Smells just like wasabi. Yep. Matt's gonna be the guinea pig on this. Mm-hmm. So uh yeah, if you don't have a, a dehydrator, you can do this in the oven. Just put it on the very lowest setting the oven's got. You can use toothpicks or a rack, whatever, however you want to put it in the oven. And crack the door. And it should take about the same amount of time to do the stir-fry meat as it does in the dehydrator. I love that marinator. Can you use that marinator for other things? Anything? Steak? Anything. anything. Vegetables and all, dude. Yeah, and... You got the link for that in your videos, right? Yeah. The, the, I don't know if I told you about that. You know, pressure treated wood, how it got, it, it gets uh, the chemical all up in the wood, right? It's yeah. all the way through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They use a pressure. So and that's what this takes is. takes all the air out of it. It's like, it's like. It pushes it up in that wood. Well, that's the same thing, same concept as this, is that it whenever you. It's fucking up, amazing. It looks, it looks, it literally like you marinated yeah. it up overnight. Well. And I've done steak, I've done chicken. Chicken's kind of uh, a, a dense meat, like it don't have fibers like steak does, you know, because it's like a whole muscle versus the steak's being cut and it's got grooves for it to go in. You actually have to uh, use this little thing and put holes in that chicken breast. But what this thing does, man, is when you pull a vacuum on it, you can't see it when you pull a vacuum. But when you release the vacuum and you're looking at it, oh, yeah. the meat will drop down. It actually pulls the meat, meat apart. apart. And then as it's pulled the meat apart and it's sitting there tumbling and it's got pressure on it, yeah. and then you release that vacuum on it, it pushes all that marinade up into that, them. That's pretty, that's pretty amazing. And also that smells fantastic. 
I hope it's if you good, like wasabi, man. Now, I, I'm a wasabi fanatic. So see, I made this for you, Matt. I'm not a real big wasabi fan. Really? Uh uh-uh. uh. But well, hell, I wish you said something. I'd have no, something else. No, hell no. Because I think the people that's going to watch this video is going to watch it because it says wasabi, wasabi. beef jerky. Yeah. <laughs> Especially sushi lovers. Uh, lot of, well, I mean, not necessarily all sushi lovers like wasabi, but for the most part, like you take a wasabi and you pour some soy sauce on it, and uh, low sodium soy sauce, everybody, because that other stuff's bad for you. I mean, and low sodium not great, but it's better. Well, this this ain't low sodium soy That's sauce. That's good, but it's only a quarter cup. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, but you take that and you put a you have a, a, a dollop a, a dollop of wasabi and you pour soy sauce all over it and you mix it together to where it's kind of. It's not as thick as it would be, uh-huh. and then you just dip your sushi in it, and it, it's fucking amazing. I mean, it's effing amazing. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna show you something, man. Here in a second. Well, you're gonna get to see it anyways. All right. But most dehydrators are are loud. You remember that commercial one I had? Yeah. I don't know if you remember how loud it was. One? Yeah. That one right there. Uh, yeah, the one in that video going right there. Behind, behind Calvin's uh, corner. This other one that I got is by Oster. Is as loud as crap too, man. Look, this has got temperature settings on here. We're gonna have it on 160 degrees, but if you're doing different things, you can cut it down. Uh, like that's I can't read it. 96. Yeah, it's anyway. 95. It's 95 degrees. Yeah, it's plug and play. Yeah. You set the temperature and you plug it up. Now listen, how quiet this is. Oh shit! Shoot. Huh? Yeah. That's what? quiet, ain't it? <laughs> and it pushes the the other ones push the air from the bottom up. This pushes it down. This pushes the heat down on it. I know hot air difference. rises, but it does. It don't. But, but if it does rise, it's pushing it down, and then all, it's rising up around the outside. It's keeping it contained in there because all it is it's got these little these little slits at on the bottom of the bottom thing. Yeah, and so. Oh man, you smell that? Most yeah. <sighs> Most of the heat stays inside there, I think. You, know, you got that fan, the convection yeah. part going. But whatever, whatever it's blowing out, it's is it blowing anything out? Because that's it's smelling. I'm like, sure it is, but like I smell it feel right there. There's really nothing, no, no air coming out of it. I smell it. I smell it. That's uh, man. I'm excited. Yeah. How long we got? Two we hours. We got two hours, and it'll start coming off. Two and a half hours will be completely finished. I'll be get a couple mineral waters in me in two hours. <laughs> So to check the beef jerky, everybody's asked about this. What you want to do, I've just turned this off. This is still hot. It's been like maybe 20 seconds. Take it out, you lay it down, and you wait five minutes. You want to let it sit to the side, and then when you break it, you'll see this these fibers like this. It's done. You don't want it to snap and crack. You want it to bend and see fibers. All right, my good friend, Matt. From man's world. I've been here. Is here. You heard him in a little bit of the other video. Anyway, we're <laughs> gonna try this. I'm eating some right now because I just showed you how to check to see if it was done or not. Matt, grab you a piece. I taste wasabi. I taste sweetness from the brown sugar. I taste wasabi, and I get the tenderness because the honey makes it tender. If you were alive. Back in the day, when they kept this on our saddles and their horses, back in the old west, I'm telling you right now, you would make a fucking fortune. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if, you, if they had a humidifier, I mean a humidifier, a dehydrator, a humidifier. Complete opposite. Uh, if they had dehydrators back in the day, I, I, most of the time back in the day, I guess they just let it hang and dry up on its own, right? To be honest with you, this is the first time I've made this. And this is a, a great recipe, I think. And whenever we, I first started making it, the marinade was so thick, and you weren't here to see that, but I had to add some soy sauce to the marinade jug to get all the marinade out of that bottle because it was so thick, and I was thinking- the wasabi paste and everything? This, yeah, yeah, that and the brown sugar and whatnot, and the honey, and, I was, and it only had a quarter cup, which is not hardly anything of, of soy sauce, and I'm like, this is gonna be so bad wasabi flavor but i'm not getting that i'm getting a great wasabi flavor i'm getting a great sweetness from the brown sugar i'm getting a great tenderness from the the honey where it breaks down the the muscle of that meat i think the, the black pepper do you yeah i actually taste a little bit of the black pepper I do. well 
I think a lot of people, uh, wasabi scares a lot of people away because if they try it raw, I mean, it's like one of those uh, sinus cleaning mm -hmm. extreme heats. But it only, it only lasts for a little bit. But with this, it has the flavor of wasabi minus, I, I'd say at least 80, 90% of the heat. Yeah, it don't it's, have the heat. Because it's still spicy. But it, it, it's... It's got the wasabi flavor with no heat. I'm, I'm glad that I, 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 I picked this out of that list you sent me. I sent Matt a list of different kinds of flavors of beef jerky recipes to choose from. And he said, wasabi beef jerky. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited now. The guy dang, I'm excited to try the wasabi turkey. Mm-hmm. Because that's going to be one of my next videos is the wasabi turkey jerky. I don't know when, so just stay tuned for whatever if you follow the channel. <laughs> But what do you think when you just pick up a piece, pick up a piece and just smell it, Matt. Just, what do you smell though? I don't even really smell wasabi though. I smell the, the sugar, the brown sugar. Yeah. I smell brown sugar pretty much. But when you taste it, you taste the wasabi. Oh, yeah. And that's, man, I'm, ex I'm so excited about this. This is what I'm talking about, y'all. This video was made for you as much as it was made mm -hmm. for me. And as much as it was made for Matt, because I made this jerky for Matt. It's, and, good. it's freaking good. Yeah, small batch, <laughs> one batch at a time, mm -hmm. is where you get all the goodness from making beef jerky, small batch. Yep. If you want to know about anything that was made in this video, like the dehydrator, or I'll put in there about the wasabi paste, you can the find The marinator. It. Yeah, the marinade, vacuum marinade tumbler, dude. Brings all that marinade up into the meat. I'll leave a link to those three in the video description down below, but I've also got an Amazon store site where you can find other things like the garlic, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, all that, all that stuff. You'll have some of those uh, haters that are that make beef jerky. Uh -huh. They'll be like, "Oh, you're cheating," you know, with that. Because I already know, I know how people are. <laughs> uh, you're cheating with that mar that that tumbler, but man, it, it, it is. You can't, I, I guarantee you, you can't make this taste as good letting no. it sit overnight. I don't think so. Back when I first started making jerky mat, it was, which was thicker pieces. It wasn't like the stir fry. Instead of a sixteenth of an inch, it was a quarter of an inch. But you would have marinade on the outside and you would break into it. It would be like cutting a steak. Mm -hmm. And you would see the marinade or whatever they do on the outside of the steak. But on the inside would be like, pinkness or redness mm -hmm. or brown whatever degree you had to cook that this when i started on even the quarter inch thick jerky slices was the same color of the marinade all the way through the meat and even when i cook chicken or steaks on the grill or even if i wanted to throw vegetables in there with some balsamic vinegar and and whatever it pushes it all the way through anything you put it on there because it's got that pressure from that marinade tumbler. And I, that is probably the best thing ever as far as making any jerky, cooking on the grill, cooking on the in the stove, on the oven, anything, if you want flavor to go through the marinade tumbler. Fuck it. <laughs> really, uh, Emmett wants some jerky? The funny farm over here wants some jerky. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got off, uh, I got, I got off at 11 today, so. Hell, yeah. I was like, what? You want to see, man, why don't you just fucking meet them over and have a bake the shit out of them right now? You want a beer? Uh, hell, yeah, I